China now unleashing dangerous malicious code all throughout United States infrastructure and our incompetent government is just figuring it out. Apparently it is inside Guam and other military bases. This report came over from Uncover DC and they've got some nice details for us. They say that at the top that China unleashes malicious code on US military infrastructure. And Volt Typhoon was something we talked about here a long time ago and we didn't know how embedded this code was, but but apparently a cyber espionage group from the PRC that is called Volt Typhoon, according to Microsoft and the US government, it breached the US Navy infrastructure. This comes from the Secretary of Navy, Carlos Del Toro. NSA, CISA, Microsoft announced a malicious breach on quote, critical communications, maritime and transportation infrastructure. In the United States and Guam on May 24, 2023, Microsoft and officials from the government believe that these are state-sponsored attacks and various uh, incursions. But now they're finding it in Guam. Popped up right around the time they were investigating the Chinese balloon incident. The mysterious computer code appeared in telecommunications systems in Guam and the US. Guam is a particular interest because of its strategic air base and its ports. With the code, the PRC can enter undetected through homes with internet connected consumer devices, according to Microsoft. It says this, this code, this group, proxies all of its network traffic to its targets through another network and reroutes this stuff through different devices, lowers its costs, gains access to target environments, conducts hands-on keyboard activity via the command line. The operators adjust, repeat these things multiple times. They're living off the land, so the, the virus basically goes into the computer, installs itself, and then uses that layer to go and infect other systems. It finds information, discovers other devices on the network, and then goes and infiltrates them. Microsoft believes the malware is being used to prepare for future ge geopolitical crises between the US and China. It's malware going into military infrastructure to, to be used in the event of an invasion of Taiwan. If you know anything about the Chinese warfare strategy, this is not far-fetched. They lay the groundwork well in advance of a strike. According to the New York Times, this code might be a ticking time bomb that could give China the power to interrupt or slow American military deployments. Cutting off power, cutting off water, but its impact could be far broader because the same infrastructure often applies to houses and businesses. Title Cyber said one of the title authored threat objects objects recently added to our community edition is Volt Typhoon. Pretty serious attack that our government can't even figure out. Now, they tell us that they are competent. They told us that when we had a pandemic, that we had this military science super state that was going to solve all of this problem for us. We couldn't even get toilet paper. Volt Typhoon deployed what is known as living off the land malware. The malware has allegedly been active in critical military sectors since mid-2021. Living off the land malware is particularly stealthy. It uses existing function instead of files in a system to do its dirty work. Microsoft blog says hackers use tools that do not write to the disk or use files and therefore can execute while remaining concealed. Executing a fileless attack is the next progression. They use resources already available in the operating system. They can cover its tracks. No files are available to the antivirus for scanning and only legitimate processes are executed. They're trying to address these kinds of attacks at Microsoft, but they don't know. The US government is also hunting this stuff down. June 23, they indicated that they've been working on this for some time. Questions from the New York Times prompted a statement from Adam Hodge from the National Security Council. He said the Biden administration is working relentlessly to defend the United States from any disruptions to our critical infrastructure and blah, blah, blah. But government officials fear the threat is much more widespread than the infiltration of the Navy it could impact other military and critical infrastructure, telecommunications. It could allow China to cut off power all across the country. And we're seeing a lot of infrastructure failures across the country. Very interesting. The intelligence and security Alliance held its 10th summit. Speakers say it's very important. All sectors start working together on this, including all sectors of CISA. It sounds like it fits the pattern of our government's general incompetence. They tell us that they're spending billions and trillions of dollars to protect us, and we've got all these advanced systems and techniques and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, we can't even evacuate our own troops out of Afghanistan. We say that Russia is going to be eviscerated overnight because of this Western alliance. Turns out that's not so true either. The balloon's not a big deal. It's not just beaming code into our various military bases or whatever it's doing. And our government is working relentlessly to prevent this from happening. We'll see what they are able to accomplish.